Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, Wednesday already. Welcome to the midweek shave. <laughs> How's your week been? Alright? And how are you doing yourself? I hope everything's going okay for you, uh, especially the shaving part. Gonna have a nice, um, what I class as a relaxing shave. Um, very little effort in the preparation, as in lathering. Um, so just relax and enjoy it. And while we're talking about relaxing and enjoy it, we've got some roses I know. Uh, are they carnations? Mm, I'm not going to say any more because I'm wrong and I'll get told off. <laughs> Let's have a closer. And I'll show you while you're watching them what I'm going to be using. Very simple. Yet a very effective shave, hopefully, using a few basic, simple products and a few nice um, products in between. So one of the nice vintage products <laughs> is the razor, and that is the Gillette Slim Adjustable. Lovely razor, love this, I've used it for a while, it goes uh, one up to uh, was it nine? Um, I've got it on setting number five and inside I'm using the feather blade, the feather stainless I used in my last shave so it's been used once so it should be just right. Um, brush is the the Paul H Films um, Badger. Oh beautiful brush. Um, Can you guess what? <laughs> I smell that. What is it? <laughs> uh, it's only simple. It's a palm olive classic shaving cream. And this is a superb um, shaving soap and cream, whichever you buy. It's one of the cheapest, one of the longest, well, especially the soap, um, to be around. It's also al almost vintage soap itself. The scent is superb, the price is superb, it's performance and uh, anything, it's just spot on and they've not changed it and it works and that's why it's still around today I think. So I'll just rinse my uh, face, I've not long come out of the shower but you can never have too much prep. I'm not going to use a pre-shave um, pre soap or cream or oil or anything like that today. As I say, this is just a, a very relaxing, hopefully, shave. Oh, that scent is so... Oh. Down memory lane. Always, when I, especially when I haven't used it for a while. It's uh, father, grandfather. Obviously, this is easier to lather because it's a cream already and interestingly as many of you know but anybody that's new to this way of shaving and these sort of shaving creams it's green as it comes out of the the tube but it lathers white as you can see and this brush is superb made for me it was commissioned by a chap called Mark in America and a British chap um, 1968 Scooty or Scooty 1968 YouTube channel he made it uh, well he made the handle superb and it's got all my channels on it 007 Vauxhall hot and spicy vlog <laughs> Polish film it's great right so the Gillette a vintage Gillette Gillette slim adjustable twist to open I'll just show you the, there's the feather blade, high stainless, used once and on setting number five. So here we go, eyes down for a full house, as they say in bingo. Yeah, I can't tell that's a feather, there's no, no bite at all, that's lovely, very comfortable. And uh, 
I get a lot of people asking in the comments and thanks again for all the comments I've re I read them all and I don't necessarily answer them all but I read them all and I appreciate them all thanks very much uh, especially from the regular people um, thanks for your time and effort and involvement um, I've said it before a lot of YouTubers uh, can forget, you know, without the viewer, nobody, you're nobody. I'm nobody. This channel's nobody. It's, it's, uh, never forget that. Anyway, this is a very smooth, very smooth shave. It wouldn't, if I was blindfolded, I would never say this is a feather to be honest goes well in this razor and still light touch light touch you're not going to get it all off in one that would spoil the shave anyway wouldn't it? imagine somebody did say um, oh what they invented a razor you just went over your face once done if you're that type of person You'd be thrilled to bits, but I'd be, might be mortified because I enjoy the process, you know, the shave and little chat and how the world is and what the weather's like and oh, it's been uh, it's been a nice day. Um, well, no, when was it yesterday? Uh, it was a nice day, but Monday, sorry, was um, rain. God, that fine rain, it just phew, soaked. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> but um, yesterday was nice, but a bit cloudy. Cross the growth now. This is lovely. And you're shaving with a bit of history here. And I've said it a thousand times, I'd love to know who owned that, what their job was, where they lived, how their life was. I went into a shop in uh, Chester. I had to go to Chester a week or two back. Um, Mrs H wanted to go to um, Browns in Chester. And... Uh, not far from there is a shop called Penhelligans and you can tell you there because they've got a machine that wafts out a scent and I went in and had a good look around and I asked the lady can you um, tell me the fragrance that was made for Sir Winston Churchill our Prime Minister that was and she showed me and it was a nice scent, it was quite a flowery scent, but I wouldn't, I didn't like it enough to buy it, if that makes sense. Um, and apparently men and women can wear it, it was a, but they've got a range uh, with those Churchill, something to do with it. He had a, he must have had a few things made by them or something. Uh, But um, it wasn't a scent I th would associate him with. I don't know why, because I've never met them. I, you, know, I don't. you have a thing in your mind, don't you, what someone may smell like or whatever. But uh, it wasn't what I thought. And it wasn't my cup of tea, if you like. If it was cheaper, less expensive, I would have probably bought it because of its link. But... Paying, when you pay that sort of money, they're about £30 for a bottle. Um, I want to like it, really. That's the cat playing on the stairs, if you can hear it. <laughs> That's the morning exercise. So we're against the growth now, and this is very relaxing, nice chat. 
good shave using a superb razor and if you ever think of getting a vintage razor some of them can be quite expensive um, depending what they are, how rare they are, whatever, what condition they're in but you've got it for life if you look after it and also you're shaving with a piece of history you know I know some people have got their grandfathers and fathers well that's even better you know because you've got the family story behind them excellent slickness on this cream as you be you may be able to tell by the way I'm going over You can feel the blade on setting five now. It's uh, now there's more beard removed, but it's a very comfortable feel of the blade, if that makes sense. Very nice. Don't overshave, Paul. Right up. You have done there. Whatever. But that's. Uh, that's been not much pickups either, but we're going to do them. <laughs> I mean, come on, you've got a fantastic scent, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's and so simple, so inexpensive here, anyway. Double chin, and that's the sound you want. Fantastic. It helps on the Adam's apple area then. You don't cut it like I did. Right. Just gonna add a bit more and then I can go finely now. I've added a layer of water onto the slickness of the soap or the remainder of the soap or the remnants of the soap. And if you listen now, you'll hear those bits I've missed. And I'd say that's super, oh no, hang on, just a touch there. Lovely, yeah, that's a bit. Oh, that's superb. Absolutely superb. Right. Rinse off, Paul, when you've got skin left. Oh, I've seen this towel for a while. <laughs> Always reminds me of a deck chair. Mmm, that's lovely. Good slickness, wow. Good slickness. <laughs> right. Talking to the plants. Medicated Super Hazel by Thayers. Are we going to have a tingle? Are we going to have a tingle? Oh, just, oh, come on. <laughs> I love that. Just a bit. Nostrils out. Nostrils breathe in. Eh? <laughs> That's lovely. Little things, please. <laughs> Little minds. God. Oh, that is lovely. God, you don't need them. The feeling of this now. I don't need moisture cream. God, but I'm going to have it. Right, um, for a change, I fancy, because that's quite clovey, the uh, medicated, so I'm going to go with this, I've used that for a while, 
Benjamin's Bay Rum, mentholated. And this is a very, very clovey. Uh, I, I like it, this chain. <laughs> hey? <laughs> what do you think? Well, you want a bit? Oh, go on then. Go on. There you go. There you go. That's enough. Don't waste it. <laughs> I'd be locked in. <laughs> well, you'll be with me because you'll be your hand on. Right. Arco Classic. Very standard shave, very relaxed, enjoyable chat, if that's what you can call it. Um, not a very educated chat, I must admit, but uh, we're all friends here. And his lordship's not here, but uh, he may be paying a visit soon. Oh, I dread it. He has an entourage and you know, this is going to be right and if he has coffee, he brings his own water, he has his own chef. Well you can see how he treats me, he made me sleep in the woods. So, uh, you're not sleeping in here, bloody peasant. He says, Get, you can stay in the woods. And then he just told his keepers, his gamekeepers, and his uh, land manager not to shoot me. That I'm not a, I'm not a trespassing. <laughs> God, are you still there? <laughs> right, Gillette Slim Adjustable. Let's get back to the job. Um, twist to open, vintage razor, superb in every way. Razor adjustable, one to nine eye. They're on setting number five. With a feather blade, twist to open, feather super stainless, a uh, high stainless, sorry. Um, that was used once, so that's its second use. And I've got a piece of card in the shave then from 1 to 10 written on it. Simple as that. That blade then will go on to number 2. So when I look at it, I'll know. And it can have various blades that all stacked up. And I know all those blades have been used twice. If it's been used three times, it goes on number three. And that's how I do it. It's very simple. Other people use dice and all that sort of stuff. But uh, that's that. And then we've used the Paul H. Films You Would Handle, if I remember rightly. Uh, Badger brush. Beautiful brush. Um, nice to grip and it's lovely. It's nice and soft. Red mixing bowl. The Palmolive Classic Shaving Cream, superb. Price, easily bought, scent, um, during the shave, good protection and a good slickness after the razor has taken the sh sh saving shaving cream off. Thinking of saving money, see. Rinsed off with water and we added the Thayer's Soup Medic. God, learn to speak, man, would you? <laughs> You know what it is, you can read, can't you? Thayer's Medicated Super Hazel. Thank you. And then we used the Benjamin's Bay Rum Clove, as clovey as a clove hitch. It's a knot in it, yeah. Anyway, it's clovey. It's like you've been to the dentist. you remember that smell from the dentist? Back sort of, I love it. Well, I don't love the dentist, but I love the smell. And then we put the moisture back in by using the Arco Classic. Superb. I'm relaxed. Time for coffee. And time to... to God, I can't eh? Time to depart from my friends. And the flowers. They'll go downstairs now and give us a bit of joy down there. Hopefully the cats have stopped playing. What they do is go up and down the stairs a few times. And they have eyes like that. <laughs> do yours do that? <laughs> I don't know why, they just go up and down, up and down the stairs and they'll stay, stare at you like that. <laughs> Waiting for you to interact. So I interact with my size nine. Four. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. Mrs. H watches this. No, I don't. Wouldn't do a thing like that. Right, so that is it. 
Have a fantastic week. If you're still there, if you haven't left me thinking, oh, I've heard this fella. Um, all a bit of fun. Have a fantastic week. Have some great shaves. Look after yourselves. And then um, I, I shall see you when I can learn to speak by then, hopefully, on the weekend shave, on the Sunday shave. <laughs> so take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. <laughs>